Chris Trot here with Team TaylorMade, joined by Ricky Fowler. Good to see you, mate. This is the 5x5 five five challenge. I couldn't think of anyone better to do this. You're actually hitting five iron as well, which is perfect. On the ground, we have last year's model and then the new golf ball, alternating all the way through the TP5X. We're gonna to illustrate to the folks watching differences between the shots, talk about it, but also gains and reference them as half a club or a full club. Let's see how this goes. That's impressive that he can call his shots. Beautiful ball flight. Those are major numbers. So it just seems like it stays in the air just a little longer. Flew 10 further, nine further. So that would be, we referenced that probably as a whole golf club, right? All right. See if we can keep uh, contact consistent. I'm sure anyone can do that, it's gonna be you. It's a great start. Beautiful ball flight. Went straight. So we've laid down a marker and the carry distance there with this breeze, 220 out of the five iron. That's a good five iron. Yeah, it's a good five iron for me is right around 210. So okay, about 10 of help. Okay. Down the front edge. It flew a few yards further. Yeah, for sure. It flew 10 further, nine further. So that would be, we'd reference that probably as a whole golf club, right? I, it's close. I mean, obviously the further you're hitting it, it's in the air, it's getting more help. So stock might be a little less than nine yards extra. Yeah. I mean, if we no... look, you can get deeper into looking at both golf shots here. Um, you maybe, they launched a little higher on the old so it was squeezed a little more. But I mean, I think it's a fair comparison. And then the main number we're looking at for this test, you're getting 9.6 yards more out of it. Yeah. Let's go through it a bit more. But I mean, that off one shot would be looking at one club more yardage. I mean, that's useful to a lot of people watching this. Yeah, and I would, I mean, I didn't feel a whole lot different swing wise. I mean, I would say club head speed was within a mile an hour. I wasn't trying to do yep. anything. Yeah. Okay, back to the original ball. The old ball. Is it good? It should be good. right around that 220 again. 222.6. I'm fine with hitting 5 iron 220. <laughs> it is downwind a little. Yeah, these are actual numbers. I'm not normalizing any of these. One hop and up on the green down there. 224.9, so. I'd say it's 225. I'd give you that. <laughs> Three, I'm being precise, but you're not even, I like it. So that's almost half a club, quarter of a club longer for sure. Yeah, I mean, so far we've been nine and three yards. Yeah, and we have our averages in here if we take a look and I can give you those numbers just in carry. Now your averages are set 222 versus 227, so yeah. five yards, half a club longer. Yeah. yeah, I'd say it's tough to obviously make huge gains. A full club is, is that's a lot to ask for. That's, those are major numbers. Half a club is still a serious gain when you're talking about just one ball or the other. Half a club for a player of your level is colossal. That's a good reference yeah. to make when we're looking at that. Uh, I agree. Back on the old. Great golf shot. Good. Yeah, no, I was hit solid. Nice. 222.3. I mean, it's so impressive of a show. Yeah, we're 20, 22, 22. Yeah, that's impressive. little skinny let's see how that does then not quite his best hit still got the hop carry distance coming up now 
225. 225. So you've had a 224, 225, and a 229. So still giving you the yardage. Let's not study the average yet. Let's go through the rest of the set. Old ball back in. Hung it just a fraction. Should still be right around 20. Yeah. 19.1, called it. That's impressive that he can call his shots. New ball back in. I'll see if I can hit something that's similar flight to that. Okay. So we can go apples for apples, I like it. Probably 24, 25. Yeah. So it just seems like it stays in the air just a little longer. And then let's have a look now at our average with a couple to let to go. And again, carries really what we want to live here. So your average differences are half a club. Yeah, 21 to 26, five yards. And I think the thing, like obviously looking at averages is if, um, if it has club head, like to show that I'm not trying to swing differently. Yeah, so club speed. They're 99.8 and 100.1. So there's the validation. Because obviously you can, you can skew numbers if I cruise one and then swing harder at the other, but if the swing speed or club head speed is basically the same, and then you see the gains. Yeah. And what I like about this is you're so great at controlling the blade that he can say, okay, that third shot, was it you hit or fourth shot? No, it was fourth. That was slightly out to the right. I'm gonna hit the same flight. And then you-, you Try and match it. Yeah. Just to keep things fair here. So we're at half a club with one more to go. See if we can get a little extra. A little skinny. That should still get its number. It'll still be in that 220 range. Yeah. Impressive at calling these shots. Well, I swung a little, I went at it a little more trying to get like 225, caught it at a groove low, which will drop it, so. Okay. Final shot, the new TP5X. So he's now got to find, swing it a bit more aggressive with a groove low. Let's see if he can do it. Flushed it. Good? Yeah, I would assume that's gonna be close to the first in like 28, 29. All right, 32. 32, so that might jump us up a little bit as we look at our averages here and just get into that. It's probably gonna take us almost to three quarters of a club, but we gave you a good summary where we were before. The club speed is different by 0.4. And then as I move across into the carry, we're now 221 to 227. So yeah, I would say club. Yeah, I would say the five yards is an. It's fair to say that. Obviously, I had the one slight miss, and I hit one a little bit better. Um, so you get a little skew there, but I think we saw five yards across the board easy. Yeah, fantastic. I couldn't think of anyone better to give us a test on that. Look at the divot pattern. The same contact point, same low point every time. Numbers are showing it, and he's being honest. What more can I do? Check it out. It's the brand new TP5 range of golf balls. You've got the X and you've got the 5. Find out which one is right for you, but also learn more about the golf ball at taylormadegolf.com.